FUDDING FRIDAY. FUD means fear, uncertainty, doubt. If this is your first time clicking on the video, what's up? My name is The Schiller. We've been covering NFTs, Web3, all that kind of crazy stuff. And I always get comments on my videos saying, oh, I, I screenshotted your NFT. And I still don't really know how you're supposed to respond to that. And what I'm wanting to do is when I ask you and I say, okay, can you think of the top NFT Web3 projects? You'll probably, you know, go through a list within your mind. But have you ever actually gone to their website and seen what it looks like from somebody on the outside? We'll call it session with Steve here. Think about it from you are a new person that's like, okay, everybody's talking about this Web3 thing, the blockchain based IP. PM. There's all these collections and let me go check them out, ignoring the fact of whatever price it is. Does the website entice you enough? So Azuki's here. They have a new lore drop. There's nothing that I can kind of click. I guess if we go to the about here, it'll break down what it is. Uh, formed by Chiro Labs, Suzuki is an anime brand crafting stories and experiences that blur the lines between the physical and digital worlds. Uh, and then they highlight the beans. These things, I guess, if we click on Azuki here, Azuki is an anime-inspired collection of 10,000 characters designed by Steam Boy, a former character art director for Overwatch. And that is actually kind of cool if you see that, but then they have an Instagram, OpenSea Gallery, and Twitter. Okay, so on a first quick little glance here, is this something that makes you think, okay, I want to be a part of it? And if we go over and like, I don't know, I guess if we click world here, we have some different things. We have the sisters origin. I guess we'll start with that because that's the basic. Uh, people in the alley walk by this mural daily, but few know the links to the garden's origin. They don't want to click on that, but it looks like it's a story to walk through. Okay. So again, are you impressed with what you're seeing here where, okay, we can slide the characters moving. And I'm not saying that this is bad or good, right? Simply just trying to highlight which again, it is kind of cool that you have like this scrolling comic thing, but if we go back here, is there anything else that tells me why I want to be a part of it? I guess if we go down to the garden here, Azuki is a brand, a new kind of brand that we build together, a brand for the metaverse by the community. The garden is the corner of the internet where art, community, and culture fuse to create magic. Okay, what, where, when, and how? It's based off those animations. What, I can buy some things, I can connect, I can look at their... Uh, Instagram, Twitter. I don't know. Am, am I wrong with the assumption here? Or like, <laughs> am I kind of hints that this doesn't make a whole lot of sense? So if we go down to Pudgies here, the huddle. Pudgies are 8,888 unique collectible penguins with proof of ownership stored on the Ethereum blockchain. Welcome to the world of Pudgy Penguins, a Web3 born brand that fosters creativity, freedom, and community. The Pudgy Penguins brand produces content, merchandise, toys, and digital collectibles. We believe in the power of play and imagination, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so there's Pudgy Gifts, which these I've always kept saying are really good and done. They have shops for their merchandise. They have these little Pudgies uh, who are from Northern descent. They're cute and adorable. As per they say, you can claim a free little pudgy to vibe with the pudgy penguin you own, except I feel like most of those have been claimed already. Uh, pudgy Media, new team who this, discover the team, word on the igloo, uh, and then articles from different things where pudgy penguins NFT sales surge 500% on the map. Okay, so quickly looking at this, is it literally something that for these NFT brands... The only point is that we vibe with it, and there's nothing more. All right, so we go over to the Pudgy Penguins here, and they have different stories and gifts. Again, they've done a phenomenal job, I think better than any single collection out there in terms of making their IP relevant uh, by using these gifts because everybody uses gifts as responses to things, and then they have the store. So, you know, you can collect these things $41. I don't know if this is a Canadian or American, but holy sugar. Uh, $28 figurines, 35, 35, 30, 24 bear hats. They have some stickers. Okay, cool. Of these two collections, Suzuki and Pudgy so far, have you been impressed by either? Again, try to think of it from a new person's lens. We're clicking on clone X here for artifact. Again, Nike bought artifact. And I don't know if the site just doesn't work or if my computer fritz. I think we're still here. Check, check. Holy marbles. This is the slowest website ever. I don't know. I can't, I can't even do that website. Okay, so the Clone X one, we can't even look at because it's way too graphically enhanced. 
So we're going to skip that one. So now we're going to Noun. So if you don't know, Nouns is a collection that launches every single day a new mint. There's like an auction for 24 hours and people are bidding on it. At one point, these were all the way up to like 50 plus ETH per day that people were bidding on. Um, and obviously now it's come down a little bit, but there's the Tiger one. There's this, that. They have 5,000 plus ETH within their treasury. As it goes to that, now it says an esports team. They do a lot of other things, but again, it's a DAO. So nouns are an experimental attempt to improve the formation of on-chain avatar communities. While projects such as CryptoPunks have attempted to bootstrap digital community and identities, nouns attempt to bootstrap identity, community governance, and a treasury that can be used by the community. So nouns artwork is the public domain, so it's kind of like the whole CCO thing. One noun is trustlessly auctioned every 24 hours forever. 100% of noun auction proceeds are trustlessly sent to the DAO. Settlements of one auction kicks off the next. All nouns are members of nouns DAO and some other things. This is a big collection. It's got a lot of attention. Do you feel like you want to be a part of a DAO? Something that goes back into this. Is there any excitement there? Curious your thoughts. So Digidaigaku, this was one of the Super Bowl commercials last year. They uh, spent a whole bunch of money uh, to get advertised. A lot of people are not liking this guy because basically it was highlighting his Twitter. It wasn't even highlighting the collection necessarily. And so people think, okay, this guy's egotistical. Now, again, I'm not trying to get you to judge or anything, but I'm just saying what the uh, the notion is behind it. Uh, visit the Adventure Hub for games we made in partnership with Web3 game developers. There's chibis. Get ready to be charmed by irresistible digi Gakus. There's a Dragon Quest. Become a part of NFT history with the giant Dragon Quest. This epic adventure began with the largest ever live NFT mint during the Digi Daigaku big game commercial. And then so we go through these quests. Uh, transform your baby dragon into an almighty giant dragon. Baby dragon, reveal your baby dragon. Like, I mean, okay, so is this stuff just like an art-based thing? What exactly is this supposed to be? Going over to the Adventure Hub, uh, they have Castaways, where you can play your Digi Daigaku Genesis, or Ether Orcs, which that is a uh, collection that no longer exists. I'm pretty sure Ether Orcs ended up packing up shop. So, again, spent a whole bunch of money on a Super Bowl commercial, one of the top collections in terms of floor price, off of their site, does this intrigue you? And then Doodles here. So Doodles, again, kind of a, a fun, funky vibe. I'm assuming they're going to highlight the fact that Pharrell Williams is involved, but I'll mention that off the top because that's one of the main narratives for it. Enter the colorful world of Doodles. Join in on the adventure and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest news and events. Meet Hap. Hap is a boundless dreamer and unwitting adventurer driven by passion for creations that bring color and happiness be happy, happy to the world. They have vinyls for $200. They have a rug for $800. They have uh, Mellow, which is the cat. They have some uh, merchandise. Explore the Doodles universe at camp. Um, if we click on this, I'm pretty sure this is like the real world, like kids adventure type thing where they've like set up and it's kind of like a, a miniature world. I don't know. I don't know if like playground is the right term. I guess we could use that term playground. Um, and yeah. Oh, okay. So it's in Chicago. So excuse me. I didn't realize that that was actually a, uh, thing that was full time. I thought it was only a, like a, a special event per se. Um, but so, uh, about doodles is a character driven universe created by world renowned illustrator, Scott Martin, AKA burnt toast. Since our inception in 2021 doodles has grown and evolved from a simple idea to an ever expanding world of stories, products, and experiences. You engage with doodles through our digital experiences, art animations, collaborations with global brands like Adidas and Crocs. And from August, 2023 and on, you can immerse yourself in Hap and Mellow's world at the brand new doodles experience in camp Chicago. Okay, what do you guys think? Are you bullish on doodles? Are you excited to go buy the NFTs? What's the notion that you are feeling while watching this? Of course, we have to bring up Futureverse and everything they're doing. So revolutionary AI and metaverse technologies that enable open, scalable, and interoperable apps. They have the platform, this future pass, manifest, eco sorry, manifesto, ecosystem, research happenings, and white paper. Uh, Futureverse's comprehensive technology platform empowers developers to create the worlds they imagine. FuturePass is our uh, smart wallet SDK, enabling uh, simple, fast, safe, and password-free user onboarding to Web3 apps, games, and experiences. They have a dot asset pipeline digital object transformer. 
Infinite characters generated instantly. Our 3D character prop uh, configuration and generation tool allows developers to create dynamic asset pipelines quickly and easily. Uh, AI gaming platform and SDKs. Our AI gaming platform powers casual AI strategy sports games where the players act as the coach and owner. They have an asset registry and swappables pipeline. Uh, the asset register platform and tooling will assist builders in defining digital assets to ensure their compatibility with a range range of applications. They have payment SDKs, marketplace API. They have the decentralized ASM AI protocol to allow anyone to own, train, and trade unique artificial intelligence via digital brains. Uh, highlighting some of the collections they have in the market and feature first leads the development of the root network, a modular development toolkit, prioritizing scalable, secure and interconnected metaverse experiences. Okay. Now this compared to everything that we just looked at, what do you think? And then we come to V friends here. So V friends, digital trading card game, V friends, news, V friends, 3d stories, uh, explore characters, uh, welcome to Burn Island. This volcanic island offers VFriends NFT holders the chance to unlock rare and valuable NFT collectibles. Access to unique events and physical or virtual rewards through its deflationary technology by burning their NFTs on Burn Island. VFriends holders will embark on a journey to uncover a new world of possibilities. Okay, let's click on that. They have a VCon Viper game. Set records with the VFriends VCon... 2023 NFT pre-reveal. Uh, and then they have a little bit more here. I'll go kind of back to the top. And if there's anything we should click on, I guess we could go to like all characters. And then they highlight all the different characters within that. And then for this burn island, we don't want to burn your areas. Okay, or not. Oh, geez. You click the mute button. I clicked the mute. Did you see me click the mute button? And it didn't care. It still played it anyway. Gary, fix the website, blood. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. And then imaginary ones here. So this is another collection that's got a decently high floor Remember price. Back when we were okay, okay, okay. Listen, I am trying not to get DMCA'd here. Thank you very much. Uh, so this is kind of like a neat little graphic to start things off. I guess if we go over to the roadmap here, probably the best way to start. Uh, so the idea, ID8 design community building, the project sparked from a single moment of inspiration with some imagination and work. It started to take shape with 8,888 unique NFTs. The walks marked the first step of IO's penetrating the scene. You got some characters walking here. Uh, the foundation, hire, experiment, build. Building dreams requires the right people and tools. We will look to hire the best talents in the space that share that vision. Uh, the movement. Okay. I need, I need more than just all these things. Okay. So we're here. The imaginary world utility coins development. Welcome to the imaginary world where we start to work, play, and learn together. Introduction of IO tokenomics holders can expect multiple use cases. Okay. What are they? Uh, the next phase is the expansion experience breakthrough soar. We welcome uh, the world into our ecosystem. The imaginary world continues to expand, explore imaginary lands and companions that provide additional utility. Okay. Is the song going to play again? No, we have that muted. Um, I guess they have these quests here. So I'm just trying to think of like what we want to go over. I don't want to spend too much time on this because I want to try to do everybody about equally here. Uh, join our adventure and earns lots of rewards. Uh, earn a variety of different rewards curated specifically to you. So other died, other, sorry, other deed, other deed uh, website. We got cool cats, Kaiju Kings, imaginary ones giveaway as well. Where is Yuga's website? Yo, I got you. Hold on. Yuga Labs. Okay. So there you go with that. So let's go over now to Yuga, which is a good point. Is 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 do I need to do anything here? What the hell is going on? Okay, okay, I can't even open the website here. How do I click, bruh? Okay, imagine being a company that was valued at a billion dollars. And I can't even click on the site to go anywhere. What is this? Oh, I got to scroll down. Hold on. There we go. I got to scroll now. Man, these websites is... I, it, it, that, that was my fault. Sorry, I got distracted. I thought we weren't able to scroll down. I, I didn't look at the screen. Yo, Bill Green. Good morning, sir. Shaping Web3 through storytelling experiences and community. Okay, we're still... This is like the Silo website. I hate the Silo website because it's kind of the same thing. It like, looks cool, but then like the, the actual... Um, 
what's the correct term here? The using it is awful. Uh, and I can't even like scroll back up here because this is just fritzing out on me. Okay, who's the website designers in Web3? These are terrible, exper like actually terrible experiences. I get that we're trying to look cool and whatnot, but I think I have an okay computer, but these websites are actually dog, actually dog. So I'm still trying to go through here and I can't because it just fritz backs. Okay, okay, Mango Larga. You're like one of the only people that have talked. Mark, you as well. Good morning. Trader Pops. Okay. And Mr. Bill Green. I don't know if you've been here the whole time or if you just joined it. So I'm I'm genuinely asking because I might try to clip out that entire last bit that we did at the end there and make that a separate video and talk about. But how the these websites, do they not do anything? Like I feel like, okay, so maybe like, okay, I need to preface this. I'm always bullish on Futureverse. I, I, I will be a hypercritical and I've definitely commented different things here and there whenever things are awry, 100%. But I mean, when you're looking at the website, right? You're like, okay, for Futureverse, at least they explain. There's this AI protocol. There's all these other things going on. You go to the v Ferns thing. They're like, hey, we're doing Burn Island that you get a win rewards for imaginary ones. They're staking for these things and there's going to be this utility that's to come that we don't understand for... Azuki, uh, you get a look at this anime and it's like, okay, so is that just the aspect that we are going to enjoy the anime? Oh yeah, right. There's no shows out. It's only a trailer. It's been a couple of years. Where the hell is that stuff at? And then we just keep going down this list of how in the hell, how in the actual hell is these things valued at what they are other than, okay, you know, we think that they're going to build out something monstrous and they very, they very well could. Right. Like I, when I'm talking about these things, I'm, you know, I am, I am one of the people that I am open to two way discussions. I will absolutely change my viewpoint on something, but from a user, I'm looking at these things. Let's say I have an ETH to spend. Do any of those ones really stand out to me of like, yeah, that's going to be something that's like super, super cool. Okay. I look at it and I might like the design of it and think that the quality is good and the team is capable of things, but have they really done that great of a job to sell why you should get into something? I don't think so. Absolutely just in mo uh, infomercials. Uh, it's the new roadmap. Announcements of announcements just shinier with more woozies and wazies. I like, yo, you, you need to come in here and say that more often because I, I might just say that a, a lot more. The uh, the woozies and the wazies with the wagmies and the trueies. <laughs> That's the start of a book right there, I think. Uh, you're not alone. We need better user interface for the Web3 sites. Yeah, I mean... It's just, it's, it's not even the fact of that they necessarily like look bad, right? Like I think all of them have like the fine, good first impression, right? Like I would argue that Pudgies might've looked like the sleekest because it's the simplest, it's in your face and it is, uh, what's the right word here? Like it's, you know, the branding, I think everybody's encapsulating the branding, but like truly selling you something, right? Because that's what this is, right? Like respectfully, when people are like, oh, your customers, you're part of this, your fans, like that is an accurate way of doing that. If you remember Daniel Legre, the uh, CEO of Yuga, calling uh, holders like fans and people got in an uproar about that, like he's not wrong, right? Like we are fans of something, we're fans of Web3 and we want to follow along with it. 